Oh, good morning. Uh, it's Tuesday. So we're just having a short little week here. Going out to Brandon, coming back same day, and then uh, pick up a load from a regular client, going out to, I think he said Lethbridge. So we're doing that. So nice easy week, get back a couple days in, and then uh, after a couple days in, doing this, then a couple more days in, and then uh, back out, hopefully a long run on the weekend. So we'll go do that. Did a vehicular inspection already. Let me get going here. There you go. Got any wiper blades. Okay, so we're going. Yeah. Uh, didn't have time to pre-trip my uh, truck, like what the shop does. They go in and they check the fuel, the fluids and everything. And they give it a once over, make sure. It's a good way for the maintenance crew to make sure everything's being kept up and they get to see the trucks regularly. And uh, yeah, no one told them I was going out, so they didn't have a chance to do that. Though, what they did do was they uh, quickly pulled it in and they topped up all my fluids, right? Like my DEF and checked the oil and everything and uh, a little more coolant, a spot of coolant. And uh, still good, but I just topped it up to the full line. And uh, didn't have time to wash the truck, but the dude... Uh, Scrub my windshield for me is all buggy. So that's really good of him. Love the pre-trip guy. He's a good dude. So we're just entering Brandon. Two deliveries here. One has just a couple of crates going off, and then one piece to another place, which uh, is. Uh, easiest place I can get a hold of them and no idea what's happening so I'm supposed to call them once I've done my first delivery hey it looks like that husky's open oh, oh, oh. the canopies obviously it's a big pit there last time I went through there delivery in Brandon and our second and then back to Winnipeg my load's ready so yay but uh, these guys did not know I was coming in a big truck so I'm supposed to meet them on a service road somewhere hoping to find it and hoping I don't go past because it's right at the edge of town I miss it. Uh, I don't have any place to turn around because there's field. So we'll do that. Uh, get that unloaded and then grab coffee and then out of here. Alright, so I think I'm just gonna be following that dude. Turn around right in front of me, sort of waving me. So follow him. The street behind us, if I get to a turn, I can't make my next turn, I can get to and turn around, I can turn around there too. So Keeping an eye on escape routes where I can go put the truck to turn around and get the heck out of here, if need be. These look like, uh, I'm going to have fairly wide streets here. Alright, we are Unloaded. Took a little bit. Alrighty. Just get back here to the yard. We switch our trailers. My trailer actually isn't at the client. It's here at the yard. They went and got it for me. So, woohoo! 
that saves a trip for me because I told them I'd be on the bridge tomorrow. Um, I thought this wasn't going to take as long. Oh well. I'll make it. It's not to be like a laugh for me. Alright, we uh, just switched trailers in the yard here. So we're going to go to Lethbridge. One drop, so that's nice. And is in there. And uh, last week was uh, National Trucking Week here in Canada. And they did draws every day, three draws a day. And then they did a big draw on Friday for an iPod or iPad mini. So obviously I didn't win that, but I want one of the draws. 25 bucks. Mark's Work Warehouse. So, and I got a new hat. So, free hat. It's a free hat. So, I just throw it there with my stuff. And we're going to take off. Oh, it's a hot one out. 31 degrees. So hotish. Right, it's like deja vu. We're coming in here to Brandon. I'm gonna grab a bite to eat. So just doing an end of day thing, it's getting dark. It's getting dark early now. Um, don't know where we're gonna get to tonight, probably Speedy Creek. And then get to Lethbridge sometime tomorrow in the afternoon. Early afternoon, hopefully. Gain an hour going this way so that's a good thing good morning it's uh, Wednesday morning we're in Swift Current so we're gonna take off get to uh, Lethbridge today looking good to make it early afternoon uh, yeah so we'll skedaddle probably make it there uh, an hour to spare I made coffee already, so we're golden to go. I did my vehicle inspection. south of Calgary uh, there's a little uh, petrol pass there and w so we're just going to uh, stay there I'm gonna go over to the uh, to Morton's and uh, phone my pickup tomorrow topped it up like maybe 55 gallons so not a whole lot but then I won't hopefully have to fuel tomorrow I can just 
to be a straight shot to Winnipeg. And then deliver Friday. Can I feel that? Set up for the weekend. So, 55 gallons gets me another 300 and about 350 miles down the road. Taking off, heading to our pickup. A couple minutes behind, but nothing too bad. Want to be there for 8:30, their time. So shortly after eight, but I'm not too far away, so I just have to go south on two, like two exits down. I'm trying to be there early, so I want to be going already, but. Slept in a little. Slow going, getting going this morning. One of those days, you know. Just here in Calgary. Uh, Brandon tonight at least. 
I don't think we'll go any further. Get up, get to Winnipeg, deliver sometime in the morning, later in the morning, and back home. Indeed, we do. So, nice little short uh, trip, fills up the week, and then get a day or two in, and back at her. So, I will see you tomorrow. Good morning. It's Friday. We're in Brandon. We head to Winnipeg to our delivery. And I will call them in a little bit. should get there when I told them I'll get there. That's always a nice thing. So we're just going to go right through the city on Portage. Check out to Maine there, just on Archibald there. So I'm going to go through the forks. I don't think I can go right across Maine on Portage and go right. I think there's an overpass I can't get under. So we're going to go up uh, Main Street a little bit. Right by the Earls there's a left turn right by the museum. Turn left, get to the Forks, and uh, go on to Provence that way. Go over the bridge. And hit Archibald from there. Hopping on Main Street here. Don't know if going straight on Portage through there. Of course, if I can get under the overpass, which is just on this street here. Oh, I could have. There's another truck coming up through there. I could have made it, damn it. Well, I know for next time. Just unsure, so I'd rather just bypass it, so I'll go around this way. because I know for sure I won't get wedged under a bridge like a doorstop. They frown on that. Destroying a truck and trailer. Go figure. Be nice if that pickup truck would actually get towards the curb instead of halfway on the other travel way I'm traveling in. Turning left and uh, not this set of lights, the next set of lights. Well, this set of lights turning left would be more fun. Nothing there. No road, nothing, so. We will go here and we will see the ugly museum. The money pit. Just put the curb really bad there. I don't need to wake up at all. Last time I was through here is rush hour and left lanes forced left turn, right lanes forced right turn. Dude in the right lane made a left beside me. I almost squashed me right my blind spot. Look at me like I'm the idiot. Signs 
Jesus there for a reason. Keep people like him alive. Just obey those signs. And you get squashed like a bug by a truck. The driver laughs at you. So we're here at our delivery. So we're gonna go in. Yeah, I'm not sure if they're in there yet or not, but we're gonna see what's shaking. And then we'll get out of here. I have to slap my tandems. I'm having a hard time navigating through the city. My tandems are really far back, so I'm gonna do that because getting out of here is tight, so uh, there's room too. So, have fun. All right, we're uh, loaded. I'm just slapping my tandems. Forward a little bit. Have one of those. Uh... It's one of these guys here again. I love these. Oh, it's a bit too far up. How's that? I'll shake it back a little bit. Just to make sure those pop up. I love those air release. I'm not messing with the handles, no trying to get these to unlatch. Just dynamite the trailer, pull the valve. It's all goodly and nice. idea how that new I have new wiper blades and uh, I have no idea if they're at a different angle so I have no idea if that's interfering with uh, your view hope not my uh, suction cup window mount is kind of uh, broken so I have to buy another one it's just a matter of remembering to go to Amazon and buy one because I keep forgetting That's okay, this view's good enough. right to a truck yard. Let's park there. Friday, we're done. Pre-trip or post-trip, 
everything. So, just wait for a ride and we leave Sunday again, going to Wisconsin and back up to Manitoba. That's a good start of the week and we'll see what happens next week. Till then, we'll see you next trip.